dear friends i am happy to welcome everyone for this session of accounting for decision making this is a paper for mba first semester of anna university 2023 the uh, first unit syllabus have been mentioned here then in this video we are going to discuss about the accounting principles there are two types one is concepts of accounting and conventions of accounting in this video we are going to uh, learn about the concepts of accounting now first let us know about the accounting principles accounting is a basis of measuring for the performance of the companies without accounting it's not possible to know the performance of the companies the methods adopted in measuring the performance should be common to all companies so that all interested parties can easily understand this method this should be an universal one hence common accounting principles are adopted throughout the world to write the accounts the common accounting principles is referred to as generally accepted accounting principles then classification of accounting principles accounting principles can be classified into two categories one is accounting concepts and accounting conventions here we are going to learn about the accounting concepts there are nine uh, different concepts one is accounting period concept dual aspect concept business entity concept going concern concept money measurement concept cost concept matching concept realization concept and last one object to evidence concept now let us study about the first one accounting period concept this period uh, this accounting period concept insists that accounting should be prepared for one year so that um, uh, it would be prepared for 3 or 4 months it won't reveal the real position at the end of one year only it is possible to know the real profit and the return on profit employed for the individual uh, proprietorship the owner at the part and main partners and in the company firm the shareholders wants to know the profit earned by the company and their status of the uh, financial condition that is total assets in different form and the liabilities in different form they wants to know the income tax authority also insists and companies act and bank regulation acts are also insisting for that second one is dual aspect concept the basic accounting concept is for recording every transaction in two accounts every transaction has two aspects one is the receiving aspect another one is payment aspect the receiving aspect is called debit and the payment aspect is called credit for example a transaction like purchase of machinery for rupees 2 lakhs as in receive receiving aspect as machine received and payment machine received and payment aspect as paying cash of rupees 12000 hence the machinery account is debited and cash account is credited the account equation is asset equal to e equities that is liabilities according to the dual according to dual aspect concept the total debits will be equal to the total credits in a accounting period
then third one is business entity concept according to this concept business is different from businessman for the purpose of accounting business treats businessman different when businessman or man invested money in the business that would be written as capital account received from the businessman that means business is liable to pay to the owner of the capital say he is invested 10 lakh rupees means that 10 lakh rupees will be uh, written as capital and when the businessman is withdrawing cash uh, means um, that will be um, treated in drawing account and like that when the businessman is purchasing goods from the business means that will also be debited in the drawing account capital means credited credit for the business that um, the account equation assets equal liabilities plus capital liabilities means are uh, amount uh, to be paid by the company to outsiders capital means uh, for the owners then fourth one going concern concept then according to this concept business is as a long life it will continue for a longer period on that basis only accounts should be written the final accounts are prepared on this basis of going concern concept only the fixed assets in the balance sheet are recorded on the basis of cost after deducting the depreciation recording of advance payment of expenses outstanding expenses accrued income and income received in advance like for example to show that business will continue to exist for a longer period then fifth one is money measurement concept according to this concept the transactions uh, associated with the money money only should be recorded in the books of account first in the journal that is primary book then posted into ledger that is a secondary book non monetary items should not be recorded in the books non monetary transactions like that uh, conversation between managers with the other parties and uh, height and uh, length of building location of land everything should not be recorded only the uh, it uh, the transaction should be supported by money only to be recorded then sixth one is cost concept according to this concept that fixed assets should be recorded only at the cost price whatever may be the market price uh, high it should not be taken into account only the cost of the fixed assets bought uh, should be considered and also after that depreciation should also be provided thereby even after that some it would be reducing its value so very simple the bad cost concept you can keep in mind then it would be easy for you
Next, sound only is matching concept. The main objective of business is to earn maximum profit. The proprietor or the owner wants to know the profit year by year. The asset and the profit for a period, the revenue earned should be matched with the expenses incurred. The difference between the revenue and expenses is treated as profit. While calculating the revenue uh, expenses meant for that accounting period should be taken into account. Sometimes the revenue received in advance or uh, revenue outstanding may be existing. This should be adjusted to calculate the revenue meant for the accounting period only. Uh, this is more important. Like that, the outstanding expenses and is expenses paid in advance should be adjusted to calculate the expenses meant for the accounting period. The effect of the net revenue is known through the increase in or decrease in the capital. Net profit increases the capital and net loss reduces the capital. At last in the balance sheet, um, liability side and asset side will be equal. This is due to the dual aspect um, the concepts of the accounting principle because all debit, all transaction have two accounts to be treated. One is debit and another one is credit. Then realization account. According to the, this concept, the revenue is treated as realized on the date at which the buyer takes delivery of the goods. That is more important. The date of placing order, the date of producing goods on the basis of order, and the date of making payment for the goods should not be taken into consideration for accounting purpose. Date of realization of revenue for entering service may be either on the basis of completed contract or non percentage of completion method. In insulation system of selling, revenue realized is the date of down payment and the date of installments. It is treated as gradual realization of revenue. Then objective evidence concept according to this concept every transaction recorded should be an authentic one it should be supported by documentary evidence documentary evidence may be in the form of vouchers bills invoices cash receipts etc this will prevent errors and fraud in the business okay thank you